Kron! It's Kron! Who is Kron? Where is Kron? Why Kron? Kron tabs? What are these funny numbers? Is Kron smart? What are these? What is this? What is the difference between this and the Kron tab? What is... I need a service? Is Crony Cron? No, it's anti P. Yeah. Is Cron God? Is Cron a Time Lord? Cron! It's a scheduling tool. It's been used for so many years. Cron should be installed in your Linux system. It definitely is if it's a server distribution, but if you're using a newer distribution, it might have been replaced by some system D memes, but those are rubbish and difficult and not as intuitive as Cron even. Though Cron isn't very intuitive. If you've never heard of it before, once you learn Cron, you'll never want to stop using it. Ah! Let's go! Let's just check if you've got Crontab installed in your system. Type Crontab. There we are. If you see your output a bit like this, you've got a Crontab. If you don't, install Crontab. Let's write a simple task to run every Wednesday at 22 minutes past 1 in the morning because that's when I do my backups, eh? You have a user Crontab for your user. Every user has a Crontab. So you can edit your user's Crontab with Crontab-E. Let's just simply write a Cron for, you know, 22 minutes past 1 in the morning. On every Wednesday. Bruh. What is that? What do they mean? What is that? It's actually quite simple. I'll tell you. Let's look in Etsy. Oh look, I didn't have a new Crontab, so it's making me a new one. Let's look in Etsy Crontab, eh? You have this file. Look, it's got a tutorial file. Ooh la la. So, for example, to set the minute, you change this star to the minute. 0 to 59. Check the hour. Change the hour. You know, starts at 0, so that's midnight. That's 11 p.m. You set this. So, 24 hour clock. If you Americans out there, that's what the rest of the world uses, you'll call it military time. Bloody hell, mate. Day of the month, 1 to 31. The month, 1 to 12. And the day of the week. So simple, right? So what I did there, 22, 1. 22 minutes past 1. Star, star, because I don't want to set the hour or the day. But I do want to set the week, so I put 3 there. Sunday is 0, so it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Three. There we are. Username, you don't need to put that in if you're using your user's quantum tab, and then the command to be executed. Wow, very cool. Now you understand. Yes, I have a coffee, and I have a mug with a misprint of Linux on it. You can buy this from me for £8,300 because it's a rare misprint. That explains everything. You've got a little tutorial file here right for you, if you don't know about that. So you don't actually need to memorise this, you just check this every time. Very cool. Very helpful in red hat exams. A little pro tip. But what happens if we leave everything blank? Let's take a look at our quantum again. Uh, well, like this. So this means at every minute. If it's blank, it'll just execute every minute of every day, so... Right, I use this normally every minute. I, I put a monitoring script in there to check things, but we will use notify send. So now we wait for the notify send. It should appear soon. It's gonna be on the minute. <sighs> Boof! Yeah, there you go. Look, this ran. Hey, That ran at, well, just past the minute. Cool. Right, we will see that throughout the video to prove to you that it's working. Okay, we can also do consecutive times. So, let's reopen Micron tab and then do something like this. So this will, every, correct, 30 minutes past 8 a.m. on days 1 to 5, remember it starts at 0, so this is on Monday to Friday, run start, start workbot.sh. I don't actually do any work, so what this does is automate my job, and I, I work se seven jobs at once, uh, and this workbot here just goes in and, and checks my list of tasks and then automates them, and then I get paid a lot of money at the end of every year because none of the jobs know about each other. There we go, it ran again. How about once if you want to run every 15 minutes? It's not as intuitive as you think, but it kind of is, so it's the minute I divided by 15. And then I want to take the month one, which is this one, and do slash two. So this is every other month, every 15 minutes, every other month. Uh, let's do get Bitcoin price.sh. Because every other month I, I go through a phase of trading Bitcoin. So that's what that does there. All right. So that's your user's cron tab. One more little easy command. Cron tab, cron tab dash L. You can actually view your cron tab. Very useful, uh, maybe. There's also system wide cron directories. Let's look in Etsy cron star. Etsy cron tab, we know what that is. Cron.deny, nah. So in cron.d, in this directory, you put just your cron tabs, your cron jobs that you want to run as. There's nothing special about that. This is like roots cron directory, right? Uh, but these ones here, these are scripts, right? 
So in cron.daily, cron.hourly, cron.monthly, and cron.weekly, you put scripts in here, actual scripts. They don't have to be cronned at all. They don't have to have the, the stars, they're just scripts. So, for example, on my servers, I don't know if I've got any to show you. So I've logged into my, my dedicated box now, and if I look in Etsy cron star, you see I've got some scripts in here which are a bit different. So now, in here, I've got backup.sh, what's in there? Yeah, so it's a bash script that does some MySQL dumps. Nothing too, too interesting in there, but important to note that that just runs every day. I don't have to do anything in there. So it's very helpful for backup scripts, monitoring script, anything else you can think of that you want to run daily, hourly, monthly, or weekly. So those are very useful, especially as a system admin. You'll find you're using these a lot because they're standard, right? So on servers at my seven jobs, I have crons that are they're very easy to push out because you just push them to these files, these directories, and they're scripts. So. You don't need to bother about cron scheduling, but more for system admins, but interesting to know. So lastly, instead of putting the stars in, you can actually in your cron tab do things like, uh, you know, at daily and then command, you know, echo will run every day. Uh, so that means every day that will run. So these are if you want to use sort of the custom things, uh, you can also do, you know, weekly, same ones as before, but you can also do like a fancy one, like at reboot, so every reboot, what do we want to do? We want to run one command? I don't know, start x, because we're very lazy and we haven't configured a login manager. So there you go. That's cron for you. I use it a lot on servers, not so much my personal stuff, but I use it a lot on servers, but you might want to use it on your personal stuff, so go get scheduling, nerd, I know you want to. Also, pretty please subscribe. Lots of love.